this storm, I'm not kidding you folks, has produced at least half a dozen tornadoes. 2023 will go into the books for me as my best, most prolific storm chasing season in a 26 year career. With so many wild and incredible days to choose from, you'd think it'd be tough to pick just three. But it didn't take long to make this list. And when a seven tornado day in the high plains doesn't make the cut, you know it was an intense year. This is insanity. My third best chase came early in the season, March 31st in southeast Iowa near the city of Ottumwa. My chase partner Ed Grubb and myself intercepted one of the strongest tornadoes of the year. The parent storm was one we had been monitoring for nearly two hours as it gathered strength across the border in Missouri. We're going to take you to radar. We're going to zoom in right away here because we want to show you what we're looking at coming at us here. This one going to be moving up into the uh, Ottumwa area, likely in the next hour to hour and a half. As the storm approached us from the south, we watched a small dust world turn into this incredibly large tornado on a picture-perfect close proximity intercept. This would be the first tornado we'd put live on the AccuWeather network in what was to be a very busy season an extremely large tornado. This is on the ground. You are seeing this live, folks. My second best chase of the year was one of my last chases of the season. Here in eastern Colorado on August 8th, a small outbreak of tornadoes yielded one of my biggest career milestones. That is one of the tornadoes. There's actually a second circulation right off in the back corner here. So we've actually got two areas of circulation. For the first time ever, I was able to do a live hit in front of a tornado. But not just any tornado, a very unique tornado that transitioned through multiple phases as it looped around itself several times, going from a dusty mess to one of the most photogenic tornadoes of the year. The National Weather Service has issued Tornado Watch 350 for the following areas in Northeast Colorado, Logan, Morgan, Washington, Weld. This includes the cities of Agon. My number one chase of the year is also my number one chase of my career, and it happened right here in my home state of Colorado, just a couple hours from home. A historic day in the state as a new record for the most tornadoes in a single day was set with 36 touchdowns, 19 of which I saw on this single storm as it produced one of the best shows of the year, if not the decade. This is not typical for Colorado. Three tornadoes, two of them ghostly white and very high contrast, spinning around each other in the open fields northeast of Denver. A storm that produced tornado after tornado for over an hour, easily making for the most incredible chase day of the season and my life. For AccuWeather, I'm meteorologist Tony Lovack.